Um, Marianne, it feels like a while since the, the last game actually with the, the weekend off, but um, how delighted were you to get your first goal and, and just to win a game as well? Um, no, yeah, it felt really good to get that goal and kind of just lead into Macy's goal and Manaya's afterwards. I felt like after we got the first goal, we really picked up in that game. Um, it was good 90 minutes and it was amazing to get that win. Yeah, Paul had mentioned it had a bit of a disrupted pre-season with was it food poisoning, uh, infected insect bites <laughs> and, um, and all sorts. Can you just talk us through yeah, like, yeah, what, what's sort of been going on for you in, in pre-season and, and how much of a, of a setback that was? Yeah, my pre-season was a little bit rough to say the least. Um, I got an infection when I was in camp, then I got back here. We went to Australia on the second night. I got food poisoning, so I pretty much couldn't do anything all week there. <laughs> Um, so it was definitely a lot, very disruptive. I couldn't really get in with the team during games and stuff. So my first really a lot of like minutes with the team was against Melbourne. Um, so getting those 45 minutes was really great. But then being able to play full 90 last week was uh, even better. And I think our connection on the field is only going to get better from here. What opportunities sort of are here for you at the Phoenix, do you think, compared to what you may have gotten at some of your previous clubs overseas? Um, I mean, I think the opportunities are probably a lot better for me here. I'm definitely getting more playing time than I was before, and I think that's going to give me the opportunity to show what I'm capable of um, and show my strengths on the field. So I'm really excited to be able to do that. And getting that first goal, does, does actually scoring goals in your tally, sort of, does that mean a lot to you in terms of getting those, those numbers up? I mean, yeah, it definitely helps uh, with the confidence for sure and just with the momentum building forward. Now going into the next games, I have that goal in my bag and that confidence moving forward into every game. How much confidence are you in terms of the players around you after having a bit of a run around 190 minutes, 145 minutes? Um, are you happy with the players around you? Yeah, no, I think we're doing really, really well, especially with the style of play that Paul wants us to have. And I think every game it's only going to get better. Um, you can just see how we've progressed so far in two games, I think. Do you feel some responsibility about you know, implementing that for Paul and, and being a, a key goal scorer this season? I mean, yeah, I think in a way everybody feels a little bit of like sense of responsibility in what their job is on the field um, in terms of what we want to accomplish. So yeah, for sure. But I think that's only motivation to get to where we want to get. What was, um, was it an easy decision to, to come to Wellington for you? I guess you wouldn't maybe, did you ever think you'd be playing football in New Zealand? <laughs> um, so I had friends prior that had like played over here in Australia in this league, not necessarily in Wellington, but um, they said that they enjoyed playing here and like loved their experience. So it was definitely, um, I'd say an easy decision in terms of like just after speaking to Paul and everything and seeing the city on pictures. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was just really excited. It was actually quite easy. I have no problem like living in other countries. I love experiencing new cultures, cultures and all of that. So yeah, I was really excited more than anything. In like past couple of seasons, the team would have liked to do, have done better. Is making playoffs, is, is being high up the table very much a big target for this team, do you see it? Um, I think everybody has like their own goals and what they want to accomplish with this team and I'm sure like as a team we definitely all want to reach as far as we can. We don't have like a set goal because sometimes that can, if you don't accomplish that but we do well, you know, uh, might give the wrong idea but no I think we all have the idea that we 100% have the potential to go as far as any other team in this league with the players that we have. And comparatively from what you've experienced in the States, what, what has been playing in Wellington and playing in, in the A-League been like for you? Um, it's not as physical. <laughs> so I think I, I bring a little bit of that to this team for sure. Um, I mean, outside of Mac, she's a monster <laughs> in all the best ways. Um, no, yeah, it's obviously very different from anywhere you go. You know, like Iceland was a completely different experience as well. But um, uh, the soccer that we play here with Paul is great. Like we keep the ball, we possess with a purpose, and like have full intentions when we're on the ball going forward. Was it good or bad um, having the international break? You know, when it was, but also the fact that no one had to go away this time. Um, I mean, I definitely think it benefits us that no one had to go away. Uh, I mean, I think the break came at a fine time. I feel like everyone's doing well. 
Um, Momentum-wise, I don't think this hurts us in any way. If anything, we're just building on what we want to build on, and it gives us more time to work on the things we want to better ourselves at. Yeah, and because when you did arrive, obviously there's a lot of excitement with the new import signings, but for that disrupted pre-season that you had, was, was did you feel like you were playing catch-up, or it was a bit frustrating, you know, just to arrive at a new club and really be involved in that pre-season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, at the start of pre-season, I was doing well, and then one thing after the other hit. Um, so it was definitely really disruptive and not the best start that I wanted here, but since then it's been pretty smooth. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's been smooth since then. I think being able to be 100% in trainings these last few weeks has been really good, building on my fitness and everything. So yeah. yeah and how much confidence does it give you getting a goal early in the season as well? Um, so much. I think like scoring early is always um, really great for anybody's confidence, and it gives you that idea that just more are going to come. We're about to talk to Macy. Very shortly. Um, what were your first impressions when you saw her at training? Ugh, no, I'm just kidding. I love <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I thought she was really, really talented, um, and I knew that we were going to work really well together on the field. And you can already see in the little time that we've had together, uh, we look for each other a decent amount, and that connection is only going to get stronger. And I think we're going to be able to score a lot of goals together. Have the young New Zealand players surprised you? Have the young young players? Yeah, like the, yeah, the long, young local players. Are they? Everyone's young. I'm like one of the oldest on the team here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there's a lot of young talent on this team for sure, and we have so so much potential. Obviously, I don't know what the team was like last year, the year before, but from what my experience with the team, like we're as capable as any other team in this league to go as far and win the whole thing with the players we have.